So in this video, I'm going to talk about a little bit of a quirk or small thing in C that a lot of people maybe kind of brush over, but it's something that can be confusing, which is what's the difference between I++ and plus plus I? So what's the difference between the prefix and postfix version of the increment operator? So if you're, if you're remember with the increment operator, we could say int I is equal to zero and we can say I++ plus plus. And what that's going to do is it's going to increment i by one. So if I print out i here, we'll find that i is going to be one. So we can compile this here and run that. And we see that i is one, but I could say this too. I could also say plus plus i, and we'll find that this actually has the same result here where i is one. There's also a, a decrement operator too. So we could say i minus minus and we'll get negative one. And it would be the same thing if I did minus minus here in the, the prefix version as well. And we're still gonna get negative one. So what's the difference between something like plus plus i and i plus plus? Because based on what we've seen here, there doesn't seem to be a difference. So this is why I describe it as like a little bit of a quirk, because it's a little bit of an odd thing to see in a language. But we should know the difference just in case we ever run across it. So let's 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 just illustrate the difference here. So to illustrate the difference, I'm gonna have to actually use the operator in a statement somewhere where i is being used as an operator, maybe as part of an expression or something like that, or as an argument to a function. So here I'm gonna say print f i, and I'm gonna say i plus plus here. So here I'm gonna say i plus plus. And this is actually legal, you can actually do that. So if I run this here, I get that i is zero here. If I were to say plus plus i, I get that i is one. So that's effectively the difference. With the prefix version of the operator, what happens is, is that i is incremented first, and then the resulting value of i is used in the expression or used as an argument in the statement. If I say i++, plus plus, what happens is, is that i with its current value, whatever it is currently, is first used in the expression or as an argument in the statement that it appears in. And then i is incremented afterwards. So if I were to do a printf of i after this statement here, I'll say i colon percent d slash n i, and I'll print out i, and maybe I'll say i after here, so just so we can see the difference there. So let's actually compile this again here. And oops, I forgot a semicolon. Put that semicolon in there. Compile it, run it. And we get i is zero and i is one after. So what happened there is with the postfix version, we use the current value of i, whatever it is, in this case zero, in this statement. So in this, in this statement here, it's being used as an argument. So i as, as zero is used, and then after i gets incremented. And that's why here, when we print out i, we do see that it does get incremented by one. Whereas if I said plus plus i, Again, just to kind of illustrate the point here, if I say plus plus i, what happens is first i gets incremented. So the first thing that happens is that i gets set to one, and then it gets used in this statement here. Then it gets used as an argument in this statement, and that's why we print out i as one here. And it's, it's gonna be the same here because it's already been incremented. So where this can come up is if we use maybe a, a plus plus operator as an argument to a function like printf, like that's one case where it could come up as we used, we used in that example there we just had, we used i plus plus at, and, and plus plus i, we used it as a argument in a function call, in this case to printf. So that, that's one case where it could come up. The other case where it could come up uh, is if you used it in a statement somehow. So if we said here like int result, and we said maybe we say result is equal to zero initially, and I'll say result is equal to, and I'll say plus plus i, plus plus i times 10. And then I'm gonna print out 
the results. So I'll say printout result and we'll output it. So here we get result 10 because what's going on is I is being incremented first. So that's the first thing that happens is I gets incremented because we got the plus plus in the prefix uh, notation here. And so I is going to be one. Then we multiply the result by 10 and we get 10 as the result. And that's what we output. If I said I plus plus here, then we use I as it is first. So we get zero. So we get zero times 10 and result should be zero. And then afterwards, then that's when we know that I is going to be one. So again, just to, you know, emphasize this point here, no matter what, I is going to be one after that statement. So no matter what, I is going to be one, whether we have I plus plus or plus plus I, we're going to find that I is going to be one. But you notice the result is different. And again, it's just because if the plus plus is being used as a prefix operator, then again, we increment I first, and then whatever results from that is used in the statement, in this case, an expression. If we have I plus plus, then we use I as it is with its current value in the statement, in this case, an expression where we're using multiplication. And then after that, that's when I gets incremented. So this is a tricky thing with C programming. It can throw people off. And so honestly, I don't particularly recommend using the plus plus operator in the middle of statements and as part of expressions and as arguments to functions, just because there isn't really a whole ton of value from doing that. It lets you write code that's a little bit shorter in the sense that, you know, you don't have to have two lines. We don't have to have like I plus plus and then using I in there, you know, it saves you a line of code potentially. But the thing is a lot of programmers forget this. A lot of programmers forget exactly how the prefix versus po postfix application of the increment and decrement operators works. And so because a lot of programmers forget it, it kind of reduces the readability of your code. So I'm not saying it's terrible. I mean, if you like using it and, and you're looking at your code and you're happy with it, great. That's great for you. But I'm just saying that it can throw people. It can be a bit confusing. So you might want to think about just not using it in the middle of statements, just so that way you don't confuse other readers. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.